Hey everyone, welcome to Civil Index and this is Pujita. This is our fifth video of Indian Geography and this video is about coastal plains. And before going to coastal plains, already we discussed the Great Northern Plains questions. Okay? The very first question is wet, swampy and, and marshy region in the northern plains is called Babar, Khadar, Terai and Kankar. So already we discussed the northern plains. Like Himalayan rivers, nunchi, flow valla akaduna soil or rocks erod avi kinda deposit hai hai. and our plains ekar manki northern plains ane form hai hai. Hai manaki, the wet and marshy place ekarun tundi wet place ekarun tundi ante terai dekarun tundi rivers will disappear in this part and they will reappear it terai so our rivers reappear avadam valla kare puru wet wet gaun un tundi. So that place is called Terai and this wet ground is called thick forest growth. Already we discussed thick forest growth and unfortunately a forest and we clear chase agriculture lands in the settlable places. But the most thick forest can be found in this place. And a place low chuda chuante terai place low chuda chuda. Okay. So the answer is C Terai for the first question. Next which of the following region of northern plains are more most fertile equa fertility unna place enti terai babar khadar and bangar so if you see my last video already manam it discuss chesamo the most fertility unna place b answer khadar next question which among the following is not one of the three whose interplay is responsible for the formation of northern plains so northern plains man ki rivers flow valla jarigindi annam kada adi mainly a rivers three rivers that is indus ganga and brahmaputra so ikkada em adigar question which of not a di kaadu ani adugutunnaru the answer is c godavari third answer c godavari because e three rivers flow valla maniki plains anevi form avindi okay and next question the narrow belt of the plain covered with pebbles laying along the foothills of shivaliks is called manaki shivalik shivalik tarvata shivalik food degra or shivalik tarvata manaki kanpinchedi enti babar and also ivi ikkadanta pebbles untai already manam discuss chesam ikkadanta pebbles untai and the rivers will re disappear here idi porous porous undam valla rivers anevi ikka disappear ayipoyi next region terai degra reappear aitai okay and this pebble region is called babar which is a our next question match the following bangar terai kadar babar on other hand you have it is very porous old alluvium has thick forest and wildlife young alluvium first madam so, equa more porous in the region. Enti, equa porous in the We discussed Babar has more porous because of the pebble formation. Valla adi equa porous in the And next, older. Older alluvium and then antam. Bangar ni older antam. And younger. Younger is Khadar. Right? And inka thick forest. Ekka nuntu nekar kan pisin man thick forest. Thick forest we will see at Terai. To arrange it for A is 2, B is 3, C 4 and D 1. This is our answer which is fifth one is B. So there are some pattern of questions that can be accept, expected from Great Northern Plains and E Rojo Coastal Plains and So Coastal Plains and ANT Plains are the plain which we can see along the coast. And we can see India ki E2 Arabian Sea and E2 Bay of Bengal area along this coastal is called our coastal plains the west side unnadanni west side unnadanni man ikkada plateau untundi kada is a plateau region right ee plateau ki west side unnadanni western coastal plains antaru and east side unnadanni east coastal plains antam okay Plateau ki west na dani west coastal plains antam east na dani eastern coastal plains antam. So west coastal plains is near to Arabian Sea and east emo Bay of Bengal. Okay, so it is located along the Arabian Sea in the west. So it is called west coastal plain and Bay of Bengal in east. It is called eastern coastal plain. Aide dinik mottam manki border length. I border length mottam 
6,100 kilometers undundi. Okay? But here we have islands, here is Lakshadip Islands and here is Anaman Nicobar Islands. These islands are also the same. There is also the border. There is also the same. Including islands. Islands are also included. The total length is 7,516.6 km. In the textbooks, you can see 7,517 km. In the textbooks, you can see 7,516 km. In the main land, you can see 6,100 km. With islands, you can see 7,516 km. And the total is 9 states. And four union territories ni cover jess sundi. Okay, ikar man ki states suntai kada, i bordering states suntai kada. Abi nine states suntai and four union territories ni cover jess sundi. Ain ta vi see here. This is your coastal plain map. And Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala. Ivi me ko west side unna unna states. Tamil Nadu, AP, Orissa and West Bengal. Ivi me ko east side unna States. These are the nine states and four union territories in India. Here is Dhamanandha and here Pudishari and we have Lakshadip and Anaman Nicobar Islands which are union territories. Right? All four union territories and nine states ni cover. West side we have five states and east side we have four states. Here is Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka and Kerala. Here on the west side you have four states that is Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa and West Bengal. Okay? So, Eastern Plains and Western Plains and what the main points discuss here. So, if you can choose here, these are the Western Plains and these are the Eastern Plains. Actually, East and West side is narrow. Look here, there is a narrow gap. There is a narrow gap. Why? Because the reason is the river flow is very short in the west plains. If you choose the east side, you can choose Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri. The rivers are the east side flow. Here you have a delta sun. That is some land. But here you have a small river flow. So here you have a delta formation. There is a place. That is one reason. And the other reason is that you have a western guards and eastern guards. These western guards are near to this Arabian Sea. This is near so that you have a little bit of land formation and this reason is that there was a belief that Dwaraka Dwaraka is placed Dwaraka is placed Sarma Jai Dwaraka is placed Sarma Jai so that Dwaraka is placed it was a part of our mainland part of our mainland but that is Sarmaja and here is some land and here is Sarmaja and here is a very narrow and a very small space so these are the some reasons why our west coastal plain is narrow than our east coastal plain ok so now the main part is the west coastal plain or stretches from runoff kach in north to Kanyakumari in south so west West side is run off in Gujarat and run off in Kanyakumari and we have a place in the West Coastal Plain. And here in Kanyakumari, we have a place in the form of Sundarban Delta. We have a place in the East Coast Plain. So first, West Coastal Plain stretches from run off in North to Kanyakumari in South. To east, it is bounded by Western Ghats and Arabian Sea to the west. So here you can say, run off Kerch nunchi, Kanya Kumari varku, dini stretch ane dhundi. And width paranga jos kunte, Arabian Sea nunchi, idi Western Ghats. Ikkada meko Western Ghats, ikkada Eastern Ghats unta ikkada. So Western Ghats nunchi, Arabian Sea unde mo width, width. And here, Gujarat nunchi, ikkada Kanya Kumari varku dhan extend to. So dini okokka place lo, okokka place. पेर तो भी लुस्तम लेटर कच्छ एंड काइथवार कोस्ट इन गुजरात कोंकण कोस्ट इन महाराष्ट्र एंड गोवा कनरा कोस्ट इन कर्नाटका मलाबार कोस्ट इन केरला सो हियर यू कैन सी गुजरात देगरा कच्छ एंड काइथवार कोस्ट ओके सो इन महाराष्ट्र एंड गोवा इट इस कॉल्ड एस कोंकण कोस्ट इन कर्नाटका इट इस कॉल्ड एस 
and to the east of Kanana Plain, the highest waterfall in India was there. Highest waterfall in India, Jog Waterfall. Shower Mida Undi and Guru Shana Sar Adigaro, Shower Bati River. Okay? And Malabar Coast. This is very important. Malabar Coast of Kerala in India was famous for largest number of lagoons noticed in compared to another coast. So, lagoons, number of lagoons were found in Anadutaru. More number of lagoons were found in which coast? Anadutaru, Malabar Coast. Okay? So, Western Coast were famous for ports. Equa major ports and maniki western western part lone can pistai. So major ports were present in west, west coast plains. Okay. So east the girki east coast west main ga west mm unai mm coast unai and what it is famous for any the chudandi. So west mo they are famous for delta formation and ikkadunate vt guda okokka place lo okokka tunnai names have enti in tamil nadu it is called as kormandal coast in ap andhra pradesh it is called as sarkar coast plain in odisha it is called as utkal coast in west bengal it is called as bengal or vanga coast vanga ani old name idi okay vanga coast so idi mottham four states lo so in tamil nadu it is called as kormandal in Tamil Nadu, it is called Kormandal Coast. In AP, it is called Sarkar Coastal Plain. In Odisha, it is called Uttar Coast. In West Bengal, it is called Bengal or Vanga Coast. Okay. And these western parts, they are famous for deltas. In the context, major rivers are the Bay of Bengal lo flow of the Mundu, Aye Mundu, Delta and the form of the Okay. So, these western parts are famous for its deltas. Bengal, Bengal lo manki Sundraman Delta on the. In Utkal, it is famous for Mahanadi Delta. In Sarkar Coast or AP, it is famous for Krishna Godavari Delta. And in, in Tamil Nadu, it is famous for Kaveri Delta. Okay? So, Deen Gurinchi, Inka points to the... See here. It is stretches. East Coastal Plain. It stretches from Kanyakumari to Sundraban. And between East Ghats and West Bengal. So, this is West Coastal Plain. This is East Coastal Plain. Right? So, West Coastal Plain is in Gujarat, Ranaf Kanshunji, Kanyakumari Varku. And this is the Western, Western Guards will form its Western Guards will form its boundary layer. So, this is the Eastern Guards. And length paranga you say Kanyakumari nunchi Sundra bans varku. Then extent undi. Okay? Next. Ivela divide ayay West Bengal lo. Bengal coast or Vanga coast. Odisha lo Utkal coast. AP lo Sarkar coast. And Tamil Nadu lo Kormandal coast. Okay? And it is marked for deltas. Deltas formation undi. Already marked. These deltas are formed because of rivers. Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. Okay, main ga ivi and inka chinna chinna rivers unnai. Okay, and fishing and salt production in low laying areas are important activities of in the coastal region. So coastal region lo mere ekko a choose kunte fish fishing and salt production ekko untundi. Okay, Chilika Lake. Chilika Lake is situated in Odisha. is the largest blackish water lagoon in India and in Asia. Asia lo and India lo. Chilika Lake and Edi largest water lagoon. So, Madam, in the game discussion, some lagoons and Evi ekka ekko can pistai more in Malbar coast, but highest or largest water log in Chilika and Ekadundi, Odisha only don't confuse between these largest water lagoon. That is Chilika Lake was in Odisha. Odisha is in the East Coastal Plain. But more number, more number of lagoons were found in Malabar Coast of Kerala. It is in West Coastal Plain. Okay. Don't confuse between these two. Okay. And Ante Kadu, Koleru Lake. Koleru Lake, which is freshwater lake. 
was located in east coastal plain especially in ap okay ap or sarkar coast sarkar coastal plain lo undi okay these are some important things that you have to remember regarding west west coastal plain aithe longest coastal plain enti ante gujarat gujarat is the longest coastal plain gujarat ki longest coastal plain untundi and next gujarat tarvata andhra pradesh okay first two gurtu pettukunte chalu gujarat had the longest coastal plain and after that ap andhra pradesh okavela eastern coastal plain lo edi ekkuva share chestundante andhra pradesh overall ga kavali ante gujarat the mainland if if islands kuda kalpukoni ante andaman nicobar ఏ ప్లేసెస్లో ఆర్ ఏ స్టేట్స్లో దాన్ని ఏ నేమ్తో పిలుస్తాము అనేది గుర్తుపెట్టుకోండి అండ్ దట్స్ ఇట్ ఫర్ టుడే హోప్ యూ లైక్ దిస్ వీడియో అండ్ ఇన్ అవర్ నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ వీ విల్ సీ అన్ ఎదర్ ఫీచర్ అలాంగ్ విత్ దిస్ కోస్టల్ ప్లేన్ క్వశ్చన్ యూ లైక్ ద వీడియో డోంట్ ఫర్గెట్ టు గివ్ ఎ లైక్ అండ్ షేర్ ఇట్ షేర్ ద వీడియో టు యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ బూస్ మీ అప్ టు డూ మోర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ